Hello friends, how are you? I hope all of you are doing very well. Well, let's discuss today daily analysis file and make the prediction or make the trading plan for next trading session. So if you have seen the today's market, then you know it was completely bloodbath. Means it opened up with gap, gap down opening itself. And thereafter, it didn't move much actually. It just stayed there within some range. So gap down opening was happening that's why i didn't execute my strategy and instead i sell out of the money far out of the money call option and that's why i didn't square off the trade as well because it is almost 800 points away from the current support price and i am taking that position overnight since it is a call position so there is not a much of the risk since the sentiment in the market are bearish it is not bullish so it will not definitely not go up to 15,000 and I'll be earning some premium so that's why I left my position overnight so that I can get some theta decay if you see the nifty movers well this stock moved less than negative 3% it means these were the major stocks which moved the mid nifty down well if you see the bank nifty also there also you can see this stocks moved the bank nifty down well, you must be wondering that HDFC Bank contributes heavy weightage in Bank Nifty, but still that stock is not there. So that we'll discuss in our news part. Well, if you see the news, then HDFC Bank has declared some result and it was good result. People are not selling much, means like people are selling, but still the people who are buying was pretty much good if you compare it with the other stock in this Bank Nifty segment. So that's why it was not going down like less than negative 3%. That's why the name of the HDFC bank is not in the list. But apart from that, majority of the banks has gone down and that took down the market as well. And HDFC bank also didn't gain much today. It even lose, but it didn't even lose. So you can say less than negative 3%. Well, if you see the future retail, future retail got a good news means uh, this RBA committee can decide that may repay their loan up to two years so it will be good news well pvr rating has been downgraded icic lombard also had a good news in the market sun pharma well there was a bad news adani green well it, there was a good news in the market so well in future it might be gaining well mind tree also had some good news well let it be any good news but if lockdown is going to be announced in many states then definitely company will not be able to work to its full efficiency and if it doesn't work with the full efficiency then definitely that company will not be earning that much like people expect whoever are investors in that company they expect that company should earn more but if they don't earn then definitely they have to invest somewhere else and that's what it uh, that's what it is happening that's why i am making some investment whenever market goes down i always make some investment and i make the investment very very less and thereafter whenever market will go up i'll definitely sell and i'll earn my profit well tata still it also has some good news this news you can read in my file i have already shared this file with you in my telegram channel so those who are interested to see these events and are going to make some trade or investment basically based on this announcements or news you can definitely go and join my telegram channel there i'll be posting daily this daily analysis file so that you can get all the information in advance and you can make your trade plan accordingly if you see the corporate events well there is not much of the events ahead you can say I, ICHA Prudential Life Insurance Company. So it also gave the good news, definitely. So that was the result date for today. So if you would have known this, then definitely you could have just bought some stock in your account like for investment purpose, not for intraday. So if you want to see these other events also and read this out and wanted to make the investment, definitely you should go to my Telegram channel and download this event list so that you can make your investment accordingly. I'll skip to this and I'll go to government events. So there are not much of the government events are available like major events till this expiry. So I'll be moving to next, which is global indices. So if you see the global indices, everything loose. So that's why market is going down. Even you know, the second wave of Corona, it is very much dangerous here. Don't go out there if you don't have any mask and all this thing. So please take care of your family, take care of yourself I'll stay at home as far as possible but if you see the VIX, VIX only gained well VIX gain it means it simply means that volatility is high in the market and fear is also high in the market hence option prices doesn't fall much you can say theta decay will be a little bit less if there is a gain in VIX and if you see this bullishness well there is not a much of the bullishness in the market neither you can say like huge bearishness in the market 
but we already got the monday meals and we know what market can do so don't wait for the monday meals and make sure that if you are making the position don't make on put side if you are selling the put definitely because market may be bearishness hai so market may go down and if you see this weekly picture then here you will be able to analyze okay it is 50 50 picture but if you see the today's picture then most of the people have made the position on call side means they have sold the call and made the money and same happened with the volume picture as well if you wanted to see this graph like bank nifty and all those things definitely you can download this file and see this graph fids activity well here is the twist fis mostly sold today 1633 crore worth of stocks then who bought di so di is are buying when market is going down so they will be selling when market will be going up so 2355.56 crore worth of stocks so definitely they are going to sell in future but still they have bought more than what fis could sell still market has gone down because retailers were also selling they were in a panic so you can say today market was completely taken over by panic condition and but if you have seen the like later part of the day initially it went up to around like 350 points negative then it has recovered 280 points something like that so again you can say it was reverse movement it has gone down then it was recovering so it was recovering because the idea is or continuously buying so dia has made this reverse movement happen weekly support and resistance is here so we are going to draw it in our chart and find out what how we can trade tomorrow so you see if a huge gap up or gap down happens then definitely you have to take care of your trade we are not going to implement the same strategy tomorrow you have to stay tuned on my telegram channel if i am making any position i'll be telling you there and if i am not paying the position also then also i'll be telling you there so definitely you should uh, join me there uh, i'll be posting my pnl so if you see the 14000 to 15000 well where is the 14000 this 14000 this 15000 so this is the range weekly range but if you see the today's range it was 12800 to 14400 so this was the range for today if you see the change in open interest picture well support and resistance based on chart is 14226 and 14768 so what i am expecting that market will not go down below this like 768 level market will not go up so then so market will not cross this 14768 level so i'll be making my trade plan accordingly so that if it goes down also within this range then i'll be having a limited loss and if it break this range then i'll be having a good amount of loss it will further go down even so that's what the strategy will be here you can see my strategy is something like that it will give me the protection up to 14543 so if nifty moves up also up to the point of 15400 uh, sorry 14543 then also i'll not be having a loss after that it will be giving me limited loss up to you can say 15000 and thereafter it will start giving me like sharp losses but there is not a good news in the market so i am not expecting that market will go up even i am expecting that market will be going down and if it expires worthless means like our strategy will give us 1.97% profit that's why i am making one side strategy i am not making range bound strategy yesterday i made it and then market did the gap down opening that's why i could not execute the strategy well this strategy is tentative strategy if market does gap up or gap down or whatever it does tomorrow based on that i may change my strategy as well so you also have to be cautious this is the tentative strategy means like if market remains at the same level and have some little bit bearish sentiment then definitely we can go with this strategy since it is going to give us a profit up to 14543 so stay tuned on my telegram channel there i'll be posting my trade Thank you guys for watching this video if you are finding this video helpful then hit the like button and consider subscribing this channel